Good morning, RJ Baxter here, your Out of the Box Lender with your Saturday strategy. There's a, another beautiful day starting behind me, a little bit cloudy, but what a great place we live in in Colorado. So welcome to the second week of 2021. Let's get started on the tip this or the strategy this week. So I wanna talk a little bit more about hiring an assistant. I talked about it last week, and this is one of the ways you can truly elevate your sales goals. This is a way that you can increase your production without working more because you can leverage the talents and the time of other people. I jokingly say that I work a 64 hour work day. I work 64 hours each day because I have seven people on my team that are also working as well as myself. So I have eight people working a full-time day. So we're getting a lot done in a day, but the, but the key is, is on how you do it. If you've never attempted to hire an assistant or trans, transaction coordinator, or someone to assist you, um, then you 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 might be worried a little bit about how to how to bring them in, how to make sure they're doing the job right, how to define their role, and these are all keys. I'll tell you a little story about the first time that I hired an assistant. I got into a, a top level coaching group in 2012, which really took really made my career take off at that point when I got into the group. But when I first joined, it was just me. I was a solo loan officer trying to handle my entire business by myself. And one of the prerequisites for getting into the coaching group was that you had to have an assistant. And of course at the time, as I said, I didn't have an assistant. So they said, well, you have to have someone hired within 30 days or you're out. So I just, I went ballistic and put ads out there, Craigslist, wherever. Um, I don't remember what platforms were available back then for finding people, but um, found someone and I just brought on an assistant. I had no plan. I had no uh, job title. Uh, I didn't know what they were gonna do. And that was the, the biggest disaster that did not work out. It didn't help my business. It probably hurt my business because of having to micromanage and the, the, you know, the time it took me to, uh, to uh, handle the fallout from not hiring the right person, from not having the, the, uh, the role defined. So, what I found over time is, first of all, the, the first key is to have the role specifically defined. Is this gonna be a marketing assistant? Is this gonna be a transaction coordinator? What is it that this person's gonna do? And define the job, uh, the job duties exactly. Define each and everything that they're gonna do and have a detailed outline for them on exactly how they do their job. That way, going in from day one, they know exactly what their job is, you know exactly what their job is, and they can hit the ground running. And I'll say this too, is that in order to properly delegate in, 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 a, in a, a way that's gonna help your business, you have to define it. That's how you can find excellent people that can do the job almost as well as you. Pro, you know, granted, probably not as quite as good as you would like, uh, but some people have talents that you don't have and can do the job even better. But in order to have them do the job how you want it to be done and to do it in a quality manner, you have to define exactly how they, they're gonna do that job. So that's the first key. The second key, se second key, the second key is to be patient. You have to find the right person. So don't just go out there willy-nilly like I did back in 2012. Go out and find the right person for the role that you're looking for. Be patient. If it takes you three months, four months, six months, whatever it is, that, that is worth the wait because hiring the wrong person can ultimately cost you more time and money than it would cost to wait to find the right person. And if you want some strategies on how to find and target the right person and figure out if they are the right person for the role, just give me a call. I can definitely help you out in that area as well. And uh, that's all I got for this week. So I hope that helps you guys out. If you're looking to hire an assistant or hire an additional assistant, um, I've learned a lot of, a lot of um, tips and tricks over the years, made a lot of mistakes. I've made a lot of successes. So I can definitely speak to the things to do and not to do. So once again, my name is RJ Baxter, Fairway Independent Mortgage. You guys have a great rest of your weekend. Call me if you have any loan related questions. Happy to answer those or help you get someone pre-approved if you're talking to a buyer today. So you guys have a great rest of your day, thanks.